nobody to call my own. So let me just spend some time here before I finally leave. Ah, ah. Suddenly disappeared. Is it true? Shh. You're talking too much. You. I don't want trouble. Or did you hear about the mysterious killings of the two palace guards? Strange things are happening. Really? Hey. I heard you. Men are running away from the princess. If that is it, there's nothing we can do but to sit and watch this drama unfold. By the way, what are our chiefs doing? Where are they? What are they doing? Mommy, mom. Mommy. Aha. I don't understand what's going on in our land lately. First, it was the sudden disappearance and death of my younger brother. And now, uh, the death of my senior guards who went drinking their lives out. Please. Can somebody tell me what's going on? Please, please. Your Highness, this calls for very serious concern, Your Highness. Abou, Ameko, it is either the Almighty God is angry with us, or we have a killer living in our midst. Torokedo. Torokedo. Yes. Torokedo. Huh? We 
should not allow the issue of the air to cause problem in our kingdom. I'm here, still very strong. Please, let's not allow this to cause problem. Let's not stir up problem. Please, please, please. Yeah, it only was our bone. We are worried about an heir to the throne. Because when you left this village sick, we were all afraid that you were not going to come back alive. Oh, this village would have been thrown into confusion if the gods had taken you. That's a power line. Let us allow our tradition and custom direct us in such matters as we have at hand. The Obong's brother becomes the next Obong or his son. However, we don't know the sudden disappearance of Aqua, your brother. Please, your highness. Can you help us locate your brother, Aqua? Obon, <clears throat> with all due respect, the princess cannot and will not produce an heir to this throne. We must have to find Aqua, wherever he may be. Your Highness, I I'm very sorry. Chief Apadio, are you trying to say that even if you know that the matter is going to come to you without a male figure in the family, are you going to allow the kingdom to scatter without an uncle? Yes. And it has its reasons too. Then you tell us the reasons. No, go ahead and tell us your reasons. My fellow elders, I am afraid of the new tradition the urban is trying to do. What do you mean, Apabio? Urban, hmm. this is not the time to discuss it, so I keep it within me. Do you know what you have just started? <laughs> Let's know what you're thinking about. I know your highness. Chief Ababio here is worried over the sudden disappearance of Aqua, your brother, murdered by the palace guards and the kidnapping of an innocent child to be used as sacrifice in the forthcoming festival. What is he talking about? Moreover, we are not sure we want to participate in this forthcoming festival. Now I know that you and Akbabio are the problems of this land. No wonder I have been having nightmares. Now I can trace my ailments to both of you. Oh, you want to kill me so that you bring a curse upon this land? You will not succeed. Please leave. I repeat, 
repeat, they will be tried for blasphemy and conspiracy after the festival. evil are you talking about? Concerning the death of Akua, fingers already pointing at you. The kingdom cannot take any more scandal. Do I sense conspiracy and treason right here in my palace from my queen? No, your highness. I hope you're not trying to lock me up. It's an appeal, your highness. You are threading on a dangerous ground. But let me warn you. It is slippery. Very slippery. Your Highness, I'm your queen. You shouldn't be threatening me. Now get out. Out. treatment of us is very insulting, harsh, and inhuman. We are not ordinary people. We are chief for crying out loud. Has he forgotten that you were instrumental to his being crowned the Obon? The gods chosen. Our ancestors, they chosen. You see, He's cross with us because we now know the truth. So because of that, he is uncomfortable with our presence. But then I, I, I'm beginning to consider that maybe, after all, we didn't apply wisdom. We were not very tactful in revealing our findings concerning the death of Aqua. But we were only stating the obvious. I was only stating the obvious that there is fire on the mountain. The Obon's hand is swelling the blood. against me in that manner, Akpabio. Oh, I am not the issue here. The issue here is your brother, your missing brother, Akwa. That is the issue I stake upon. Upon me, we have kept this thing, concealed it to ourselves for a very long time. And now the Almighty God is very angry with us for keeping this a secret. Upon me, the time has come for you to confess. You have to confess and save even kingdom from the calamity that is coming upon them because of your soiled hands upon me. Blasphemy! Perfect. Abomination. I brought you here so that you can explain your diatribe. I want to let you know what you've gotten yourself into. I see you now talking against me again, right in my presence. Uh, upon me. I've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ though. I do not lie anymore. I cannot lie against anybody in, 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 in this kingdom. Shut up! Shut up! Why do you allow yourself to be deceived by those books that you read and by the religious doctrinal fanatics? Why? Oh, I suspected that something was wrong 
but I did not know that it would be from you. Obo me, that book you're talking about, that is the Bible, which is the word of God. That book Obo me says you must not kill, you must not murder, you must love your neighbor as yourself. Obo me, that book says a lot of good, good things. Even if you do not believe Obo me, I believe all of them. I believe all of them. Obo me, God. Take him back to his dungeon. Obo me, may kill me, but you not kill my spirit. Oh. My Lord. Something. How dare you? How dare you stop my orders? Are you out of your mind? This man is not guilty, my lord. He's the only one thinking right in this kingdom. He knows enough to make the whole kingdom go against you, my lord. Are you out of your mind? I can see that you have joined him. Now go back to your room, woman, before I throw you into your dungeon. I'm ready, Your Highness. I can't be a party to injustice in our land. I say go back to your room now before I strangle you with my bare hands. Go now. Now take him away. It will not seem right to man his true destruction. <laughs> Sleep by lost for hours. <laughs> if you do not act fast and now, you will lose your father. God forbid. God will only forbid. If you rise up to the task and challenge ahead of you, I forbid, I forbid you to touch me, woman. Please help me now. What do I do? I do not know. Your father speaks the truth. I fear God Almighty. If not, I would not have brought this news to you. Please. Please, the gods of this land and I forbid you to come to me for any reason or any help. What do I do now? Lord, it is written in Psalm 1, 2, 1. I will look unto the hills, for whence cometh my help? My help cometh from you, the maker of heaven and earth. Father, Lord, you will not allow your people to see decay. You will not. Too. And the steps of the righteous are ordered by you. You will not allow my father Akbar you. An Akbar to die you. Go for it. Go to my father will not die. My That's okay, comfort. Stop crying. Your father will be alright. Okay? No cause for alarm. Nothing will happen to him. If any bother. Amen. The Council of Elders will be meeting soon to look into the matter amicably. He committed a treasonable offense though. Hey, hear me. <laughs> but it will be settled amicably. Okay? So go home. <laughs> Look, you like this. I like to speak with my father. Oh no, my dear. No one is allowed to see them. Just go home and stop worrying yourself. Okay? It will be settled accordingly. Dad, get away. 
Above you, you have been in the system. It is very wrong and dangerous to start what you know that you cannot finish. Are you ready to change your mind now? This is your hour, you powers of evil. Continue. Your hour will not last long. But I tell you, very soon, you will see the Almighty God sit us in glory. Above you, your role is very vital. Why have you decided to bring shame to this land? Why? Oh, do you want the gods to rain their curses upon us? Oh, oh. Thus said the Almighty God. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes, Obongi. Oh, the time has come for you to repent. Repent and seek the Lord for a merciful God. He will forgive you and deliver you and this land from the calamity and destruction that you are leading them to. I can see that both of you have chosen the path of death. Now, the hands are tied. I will meet with the Council of Elders to uphold what you have decided. You shall. For the Lord God, omnipotent oh, reign it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent oh, reign it. I went to the Obong, pleading for mercy on behalf of my father and Chief Apang. The Obong asked his palace guards to lead me away. Jesus Christ, how could the Obong do such a thing? Indeed, he is wicked. Oh. Not today, you know. Not today. He doesn't deserve to be the obong of this kingdom, self. Yes. He doesn't. Anyway, if anything should happen to my father, the obong and his entire family will pay dearly for it. Amen. My dear, nothing will happen to your father. I say nothing will happen to your father. Eh? All you need to do now is to pray for God's divine intervention. That's all. That's true. Evil will surely slay the wicked. Amen. Anything any man shows. Surely he must repent. Amen. Yes, so huh. Amen. just like his father, who poisoned his brother so that they will not bear the throne. Anyway, Grapevine found out that he is not actually the son of his father, that his wicked and evil mother, whose shoes Imabong now wears, had him for another man. He is actually a product of adultery. No, Heavenly Father, your word says that if your people who are called by your name, Lord, who humble themselves, Lord, and pray. Lord, you have said, Lord, that you will answer them their prayers, you will heal their land and forgive them their sins. Yes, Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and we ask you, Lord, to please cleanse our land with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we bring, we present our fathers, Chiefs Atman, 
and Apabio before you, Lord, who have stood firm in your word, Lord. Mm -hmm. And for this very reason, Lord, they are being persecuted by the Oboganese agents. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, come down in your might and power, Lord, Amen. and rescue them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, come down in your might and power and rescue them in the mighty name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, destroy all evil thrones in this land in yes, Jesus' Lord. mighty name. Amen. Heavenly Father, destroy all evil thrones in this land in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. Father, Lord. I'm calling upon your holy name because you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You are the same God I call upon in terms of trouble come to my aid. You have you have never failed me. Father, I'm calling upon your name, Lord. Wherever my father is, Jehovah, let him be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I call upon the thunder of fire to begin to scatter, oh Lord, to begin to scatter every wall of that prison, every door of that prison, for as many as they are that gather themselves together to put my father there, Jehovah. Let the thunder of fire begin to scatter them. Whatever Obo is, for the Lord, he will never have this Lord. He will never have this in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, I call upon the thunder of fire. Jehovah, if you understand God and serve in terms of death, Jehovah, oh Lord, let the thunder of fire come down and begin to strike all of the dead in the name of Jesus. As as the are Jehovah, all their families will perish in the name of Jesus. Father, in all humility, you see, we grew up together. We have been building this land together. Tell me. What happened to my brother? And who poisoned those two innocent guards? Who? Obon, I have told you before, and I tell you again. We have received a new life in Christ Jesus. And only you have an answer to this your question. Abba. Abba, do not harden your hearts to the gods of this land. Do not. No, your highness. It is you who shall besiege not against the voice of God Almighty. Repent so that God will have mercy and heal our land. Okay. Alright. We shall see. You're sad. The open is sad too. I feel responsible. If you have had this one after me or before me, all this would not be in the palace now. Mommy, I'm so sorry. My daughter. My beautiful princess. Not the cause of any of them. I'm asking your father is to release the innocent souls he has locked out of his selfish interests. What? That's all. Why would they level such an allegation against my father without any concrete evidence? Mom, you've got to understand his own side of the story. Chief Aquabio. Aquan should accord my father some respect. You also in support of his action? What? Yes. You are also amongst them. <laughs> Imabong, tell your father to clear himself of the allegation concerning the whereabouts of your uncle. I couldn't put a child to rule after him. Therefore, the mantle of leadership of the great Ibom kingdom falls on a Five. 
Like daughter, like daughter. Who knows? Maybe they are even the reason for my situation. members, Chief Akpabio and Chief Akpa. Do you know that the gods were angry with us and they were ready to make our land miserable because of the death of Prince Akwa, my brother, that was masterminded by these two elders. When the chief priest visited my palace and uh, we went to the cell together, the gods visited us there. If we had not run out, I don't know what would have happened to us. Now, the gods have given us one option, and that is that Chief Akpa and Chief Akpabio must be used to appease them. Otherwise, our land will become desolate because of the sacrilegious crime that these elders have committed against the gods. <laughs> May you live long. Thank you. I want to ask a question. Should the land suffer for what they did not do? For what? what? Over me. It is the man who goes to the toilet and passes out a scratcher that uses his hand to clean his backside. Open me. I will have my seat now. You see, it is unfortunate and very painful that two of our elders who are key members of this council are involved in this matter. And again, my only brother, Prince Aqua, who would have taken my seat, who would have sat on this throne, I mean, because of his awkward ways, was also gruesomely murdered. What a tragedy. Obong, may you live long. Whosoever shall want to plan evil against you, 
or want to mastermind your death shall go to the grave before you. Mm -hmm. Obomi, I don't know why you're wasting time. We have already made our decisions known to you. Chief Akban, Chief Akbadu must be made to use their hands to scrub their backside. Because they are responsible for the passing of their station. Good. Very good. The tradition of a land must be upheld. Yes. And the entire kingdom cannot pay for what they did not bargain for. For what? How is it? Obon. Therefore, I decree that the agreement of this council shall be upheld. Obon. It is Jambu, your highness. The guard, there is an urgent issue that needs your attention. Let it wait. I, I, I'm sorry, your highness. But it is to do with lives and their execution today. So, what is the problem, Jambu? A verdict has been passed for the execution. Why are you here, guard? Your Highness, Chief Akwabio and Chief Akwan shall be facing execution tonight. I thought I should have let you for their sake. Get out this very moment before I throw you into the dungeon. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Fool. Hey, imagine. Hey, how did you manage? I just had to do it the way I had to do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Ah, Mufa. Ah, we will go same cup. So, ah, we also have a female obong in this town now. That is not in our tradition. Imam Bong is seriously searching for a man that will marry and impregnate her. Ah, but the Obong is not dead. And even at that, he has a brother. A <laughs> 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 hey, brother. That one that is always drawn. <laughs> Come to think of it, when last did you see him in this town? Listen, even if the princess marries today, it will take nine months to produce a child. And who knows if it will be a male child. Mahabasi, you are right. That is why I say the brother will have to be the urban of this town. So that all these stories will have to stop. We, they will have to stop. Yeah, he say now. Yeah, he no. say. It's true. Good for nothing, daughter of a business king. What will you do? You lock me up like you're dead to my dad? How dare you talk to the <laughs> miserable housemates? Maybe this demon didn't tell you that I am comfort, the daughter of assistant Obon Mabio. <laughs> In Abom, let me tell you, the wrath of God will not depart from this side. For all the evil will be treated on this side. I tell your father that he just should expect war should anything happen to my church. God is not evil.
High Princess in Marble. The princess of this land. Comfort about you. And nobody in this land challenging it to me. My princess, her statements were malicious and indicting. Please, let us inform the Umbog immediately. Yes, my princess. If that thing can have the gods to insult and challenge you in public, I'm afraid she can attack you unguided. Let's alert the Obon so she can be apprehended, my princess. No! Leave my father at home. He has a lot in his hands. I, Princess Emma, I am going to pass my judgment. I will deal with that fool in my own way. If my princess says so. Yes. And after the festival, after her miserable father must have been executed. Princess Imabu, the queen of the dark, I shall pass my judgment on her. So be it, my princess. Do you know that what has happened to us also happened in the Bible? The disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. They suffer greater pain than we are suffering now. Yes. I read somewhere this written in the Bible that uh, we should rejoice when we are being punished and being persecuted for the sake of the kingdom. <laughs> yes. Will the open go scot free after all this? Hey, they can me. Sorry, them. Our Almighty God knows how to defend His own people. Oh. Do you think that smoke was ordinary? You think that smoke was ordinary? <laughs> the Almighty God was walking. We don't know Paul and Silas. Okay. Have you come to finish up what your husband started? can use anyone he likes to achieve his purpose in our lives. The Obong has met with the Elders' Council and a decision has been reached to have the both of you executed for treason and the murder of Akwa. What does he joke? He has gone into the forest grove to mobilize the native doctor for the mission tonight. That must be a joke. Oh, it's not a joke. Accepted God into your life, and I perceive He's the one fighting this battle for you. If I found this favor on your side, please, when you become king, do not forget this card. So The night. Mm. Get up so that we can go and have breakfast together. Oh, bro, sleepy head. You walked yourself out last night. Oh, bro, me. Go. Oh, bro. I was in the room. Oh, bro. Get up! Get up! 
lagi enggak oh, enggak lah pergi please Something bad has happened to you. What, what did it happen to him? <laughs> Your bond is there. Obo Mio! Abasi Kemu! Obo is dead! Calamity! What did it happen? What happened to him? Just this morning. This morning. Your bond slept. He never woke up again. Has gone to do the dark hole. But what happened to him? We were all together yesterday. He was he was healthy and he was strong. Yes. What happened to him? We were all together. But he slept and never woke up again. He was going to meet his ancestors. Chief uh, Okun, have you, have you, in any way told any of the chiefs? Have you told anyone? No, I just ran in here straight. I've not spoken with anybody. Okay, that is wonderful. Do you know what we're going to do now? We will go straight and see Chief Akpabi. Hmm? <laughs> Obong is dead. So you know that was the first thing my mother told me this morning. I invited you this this morning to intimate you with the latest development. I know Chief Akpabio will not want to follow our tradition in the funeral rites of our late Obong. So what are we going to do in these circumstances? Simple. He's next to the throne. Mm -hmm. Since Aqua is dead, mm -hmm. I know where to be found. Eh, eh, Tiva Kwabio, he might not want to use human for sacrifices as the way of our tradition desires. Eh, even uh, Chief, Chief Akwan himself, I know will not agree. He will refuse. Let the old tradition stop. Ah, see, whatever Chief Akwabio wants, it's what we shall do. But I, I hope he, he decides to sit on the throne. I'm afraid of that, uh, Chief uh, Okun. Eh? But one, one thing I know is that Chief Apapio will not allow the Ibon Kingdom to be without a head. Mm. So the earlier we start thinking fast, the better for each and every one of us. I think you're right there. <clears throat> Very strong drink. I always trust you for this. Uh, Chief Okon, do you know our Obon has put each and every one of us in a big problem? Mm. Now the Anna Festival has to be postponed. Mm. This is a tragedy. We are succeeding. Why are you talking about the succession? We should be talking about how to bury him, and now you are talking about succession. Who will succeed him? Chief Edith, are you antagonizing me? You are thinking about the food and the dreams. Me? Yes! Why me? I'm thinking about how to put this whole kingdom together. Uh, 
What about uh, Imabon? Abomination. God forbid. Chifoko. You? But you supported the Obon when he was alive. You supported all his actions. Why are you not changing colors? You are joking. Chibelet, you are joking. When will that support him? See, it's okay. Let's not quarrel over this. We are guilty one way or the other. Some of us could not stand up and tell the Obon the truth. Yeah. Why some of us were even afraid of what the Obon might do to us? But look at that now. Look at where it has landed us. Eh? Aqua is dead. So what are we going to do? Diva eh, Babio becomes the king. Since it's forbidden for Imabon to produce the heir to the throne. Yeah. And Aqua had no child too. Uh, we have to go and see Chief Akwadio and uh, Chief Akwa. A meeting has to be convened immediately to find a way forward in this our kingdom. Please, have your drink, please. Thank you. Ibo, it's over! Yeah! Ibo, it's over! Yeah! Ibo, it's over! Yeah! Ibo, it's over! Yeah! Ibo, Today marks a new beginning in this our great kingdom. Torokedo! <laughs> because as you all can see, this throne is vacant. Today will mark the end of an evil rule. And it will usher in the beginning of a loving, trustworthy, and God searing rule. Ibo. It's over! Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the Council of Chiefs, which I heard, it will be my pleasure to present to you the new Obon of Ibom Kingdom. Though he will be presented to the larger populace later, but it is your privilege to meet him.